Hello everyone. Uh, so let me quickly introduce myself. I am Bhivanshu. Uh, I am currently working as a founder and head of data science at Tech of Talent. Uh, I have overall nine plus years of experience in data science and analytics. Now this video is the first video in the series called Job Search Experience. Uh, today we have Deepanjan Jana who transitioned his career into analytics after working for five plus years in mechanical engineering domain. Uh, his job search experience will definitely help you. So let's listen to him. Hi, Deepanjan. We want to, sir. Yeah, I am good. How are you? Yeah, I'm good as well. Okay. So firstly, I want to thank you for giving us your precious time for helping job seekers. Thanks to you as well for giving me this opportunity and calling yeah. me in this podcast. Thank you so much, Deepanjan. So let's start with your introduction. Let people know like what you do and what's your uh, past. Yeah. Sure. So, uh, hello everyone. So I am Dipanjan Jana. So, uh, I have first, uh, mechanical engineering. I have done my BTA. So yeah. after that, I work for a few years in mechanical firm. And, uh, now I have been shifted to IT domain, uh, and I'm working in a startup company called as, uh, Arus Info Private Limited. So this is like thing I am just going oh. Go and what's your designation, uh, Deepanjan? Yeah, I'm working as an uh, associate trainee engineer now. Okay. okay, so what do you do as a data analyst? So, uh, here I'm uh, the giving they are giving some uh, work. Uh, so based on that work, I'm just uh, doing the task uh, every day, and along with that, there are some internal projects in which I'm working on so to create the dashboards and all. So, oh. and I have also done the POC as well, which came. Oh, so your work is majorly into visualization. Yes, mainly into visualizations. Okay, got it. And you already mentioned that your educational background is in mechanical engineering. Yes. So you worked after, uh, after completing your mechanical engineering, you worked in the mechanical domain for a few years? Yes, so yes, yes, yes. Transition. But yeah, no, I, I completely, uh, I worked in mechanical company uh, for about five years. Five and years. then, yes, and then I shifted. Oh, God, God. So now let's understand your job search journey. So you can share your hurdles, what kind of hurdles you have faced, or mm -hmm. how you kept yourself motivated, and how did you find your current job? Or yeah, anything so... else you want to cover? Yeah. Surely. Uh, so what I will say that, yeah, it was uh, pretty hard for me at that time when I was finding the job, because first of all, I am having uh, like uh, this five years of experience, which I cannot convert. Uh, so that's the main issue which I got. So very few, I would say we're not very few, only one uh, interview was scheduled. And mm -hmm. that too was a telephonic interview for three minutes or five minutes. Okay. And after that, I only got some rejection mails in mm -hmm. my mails. No. So that was very hard. But yeah, but uh, I was uh, going through and revising my stuffs every day. And I was trying to uh, what's it, get more calls. So I was constantly working with my CVs to update it. Uh, because as we know, that ATS uh, score mm -hmm. should be good. Mm -hmm. Then only we'll get selected. So I was mm -hmm. trying like that. So the interview experience was very bitter for me oh. but yeah at last i yeah. got an interview and i got a job oh okay and uh, how much time it took you in total to get the first interview call first interview. Uh, so yeah so first, first the one interview... that you told me about the telephonic interview yes uh, so the first telephonic interview i got after four months okay four months Yes, after four months because yeah because uh for first three months i was not uh searching my jobs too seriously hmm. which was a drawback for my side i must say oh. uh so yeah since then when i started then only one uh, uh interview i got hmm. and that too from linkedin connection i oh. just uh yeah so via I had a connection yes via referral so immediately after one day i got the call oh and in total how many calls you have received so interview calls i would say three to four calls i have received and mm -hmm. once they got to know that uh, i am 
work not working as a data analyst for now mm -hmm. but i am looking for a job so then and there they just disconnect the calls with the hr so only one interview was there and after that this interview uh, in which company i am working in currently got it got it and you have started your preparation in uh, parallel to your uh, last job or after that you took some time uh, after that yeah so at first uh, what i did is i need to know what i need to do so mm -hmm. first i went through youtube uh, few videos in which domain i should go and all mm -hmm. so i just started checking about power bi i okay. got some interest on it and i did some work means mm -hmm. very uh, high level work in mm. my mechanical company as well in the last company which i was working okay yeah so we work with data right everywhere so okay. based on that mm. yeah i started there uh, a minimal one and the uh, ceo of that company liked it oh. uh, so that's how it started and mm. then yes i took 6 uh, months it took 6 months to transition from my mechanical domain uh, oh. to data analyst got domain it. and how was the inter uh, interview experience for the current uh, company where you were working uh, so that was a very nice experience uh, that was one to one uh, interview so i went to that company as i was in bangalore at mm -hmm. that time so mm -hmm. i went there and uh, really had a nice experience with uh, the interviewer mm -hmm. uh, so uh yeah so that's all and along with me there are two other people those who got interviewed mm -hmm. but among them i was selected oh, and how many rounds were there in total uh, there was uh, not much more, not much rounds they only the hr mailed me and uh, told me that you have an interview scheduled at a certain time mm -hmm. and you need to come to our office so i went there and i just had one round of interview only okay only one round yes only one round okay and what was the duration of the interview the duration of the interview was about uh, 45 minutes to 1 hour i must say okay. yeah. and uh, now for the aspiring data analyst do you have any do you want to share any road map or skills that they should focus on uh, or so anything anything do... around soft skills if you have yeah so soft skill i must say the most uh, the foremost important is to communicate uh, with in english mm -hmm. that is very much important uh, in any it background domain i must say and along with that uh, you need to have uh, advanced excel knowledge that should the first start i must say and then along with that sql knowledge is very important uh, and along and uh, for visualization I must say uh, that uh, Power BI or Tableau, every, anything is good. And so it. these three three things should uh, we should do oh. uh, as an expiring data analyst. So we should do oh. that because it means this Excel thing is like anybody and everybody uh, wants this. Right. No matter which company we are in, even mm -hmm. in mechanical domain or any other companies, any domain companies, we generally use Excel. Oh. So everyone is. Uh, uh, very much likely to work in excel so that is also important i guess and along with sql and cloud bi and what was the order of uh, i mean your skills like you were good with sql or you were good with excel or tableau or power bi what what was the order okay uh, so what order like uh, the rating which i yeah, would like to give for yeah. now uh, Okay, so for now, I would give that uh, in SQL, uh, I'm good uh, till intermediate level, I must say. Okay. Uh, intermediate not knowledge is now. enough to clear the interview. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Basic and intermediate. So for a fresher, that mm -hmm. uh, basic knowledge and little bit intermediate is needed. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, so that is needed. And along with that, Power BI, uh, Power BI desktop and Power BI service, mm -hmm. both things are needed. Okay. So along with that power query, little bit would be good enough, mm -hmm. not entirely, but uh, and few scenario based questions if uh, they can uh, prepare because we have so many uh, materials in mm -hmm. YouTube. So oh. nowadays we can do that. Oh. So I must say that and Excel, yeah, that we look up X look up, uh, then pivot tables uh, oh. that is good enough and along with some ifs, count ifs, these things. Oh. 
and uh, in the interview did they ask you anything related to statistics uh no not that much the interview in that interview they didn't ask about statistics oh. and what about python or r ah uh, python and r uh, i would say that will give an upper edge to any person if they learn uh, right. but that is not the most basic thing but as yeah. nowadays the competition is much more as we know so oh. power uh, sorry for right. python or r would be a greater advantage to that particular right. person yeah i've been talking to a lot of people and this is uh, the like the same thing that you have mentioned if you have if you know the uh, any of the programming language like python or r you can stand out from the crowd yes right. thank you dipanjan for sharing this one yes. so uh, anything else you want to share for the current job seekers anything uh, how they can keep themselves motivated or anything you want to share uh, yes yes uh, sure uh, i would uh, share one of my experience so i would say that when i was searching for job it was very difficult for me to find a job but then i found an organization called arus info in which i am currently working in mm -hmm. so i saw through their linkedin uh, that they are very human centric company mm -hmm. and i liked their approach so after gathering some courage i mailed their uh, ceo okay i got the mail id from mm -hmm. their um, from the linkedin profile itself for mm -hmm. the company's linkedin profile itself mm -hmm. and i mailed him and he encouraged me on uh, showing my interest uh, in their company and uh, for that uh, they at that time i was not in bangalore so they told me that once you are here or you were uh, we will be uh, like to have a conversation okay so i then i came here in bangalore with okay. an internship and i uh, made the ceo um on 13th october i must say 2023 okay you remember then, yes yes that was a major turn around you must say because for continuous four five months if you get one to two or maximum three interview calls that is very disheartening for any person right so that was a great experience for me oh and uh, then uh, he ensured me that if there is any opening we would uh, like to have an interview with you as well mm -hmm. so at last i got the interview i uh, in, uh, three of the persons were interview out of which i got selected oh. so the main yeah so the main uh, highlight point what i must say is uh, when a person is looking for a career transition or something or mm -hmm. in my case also so they must uh, go for startups first because mm -hmm. uh, at that time uh, the startups will uh, give an uh, will give an upper edge because nobody wants yeah. uh, a person with a gap or something because this it field is new to us so it will be like they will treat us a fresher to us as well right right so for the and, opportunity yeah. is very... yeah this is like this is really different like you reach out to ceo directly i yes. guess lot of people will try this now <laughs> yeah yeah that will yeah help so them, i guess yeah thanks for sharing this and uh, you are right like uh, you should not re directly reach out to big companies i have been talking mm -hmm. to a lot of people uh, like those who take my mentorship calls so they were like uh, like i told them that this is the method to get the referrals they are getting the referrals but they are not able to convert them now why they are not able to convert them they are getting the referrals from google uh, amazon big companies now they are getting the referrals now problem is that their portfolio is not so great mm -hmm. in terms of those companies so you should always if you are fresh if you are transitioning your career if you don't have a very uh, i mean very good portfolio try to reach out to startups and a low level companies or average level companies this is a very good point that you have mentioned uh, anything else you want to share with the job seekers uh, like uh, what i will say that the most important thing is to uh, stay consistent and don't lose hope because uh, it is very important and revise all the uh, uh, concepts which you have learned may it be conceptual may it be theory based and you don't know when the opportunity will knock at your door so let's get ready for that thank you so much dipanjan for sharing our uh, job search experience with the job seekers and i'm sure many people will get help from this uh, from your experience Uh, uh, thank I you so much I, will, I, i would like to help more so thank you for calling me as well 
and sharing the insights yeah thank you dipanjan thank you sir I hope uh, the Panjans job search experience will help you. Uh, in this series, we have more such job search experiences, majorly for freshers. Uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notifications for such videos. I will see you soon in the next video.